Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures, here to do another fragrance review on Something Sexy in Gourmand. It's so what are we going to talk about? So full disclosure, the fragrance we're gonna talk about was sent to me, however, I am gonna give you my honest opinion. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button after watching if you enjoy this content, hit that like button, drop a comment if you want. All right, what are we talking about? So the fragrance we're gonna talk about, I actually reviewed in a decant and they were kind enough to actually send me out a small bottle and that's why we're here over on YouTube. So we're talking about a fragrance from La Via del Profumo and we're talking about amber chocolate. Wow, absolutely wow. So how did we get here? So I enjoy tobacco fragrances, absolutely love them, they're my favorite. So I went down the rabbit hole and I bought a bunch of decants of tobacco type fragrances from a bunch of different fragrance houses over on Lucky Scent. And the one that I got from uh, La Via del Profumo was amber chocolate. Now there's only three listed notes here. There's tonka, vanilla, and chocolate. But in the description it talks about this just gorgeous tobacco that's in the fragrance. So I was sold with everything else. I knew it was gonna be a gourmand fragrance, but you add tobacco in that, sold, 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 sold. So when I tried the decant, I was blown away. Absolutely blown away. You didn't have to use a lot. I only used one little bit on my pulse point here and on my collarbone and it lasted like 10 hours. In fact, I, I thought that the longevity was poor until I moved around. So I was just moving around, I was doing the robot. In the office and all of a sudden I was like, holy crap, like, it, like the scent trail was just like wafting. I was sending you know, this, the essence of this fragrance into the air like six hours later and it was still pumping. It's super gourmandish when you, it opens, and let's just spray a little bit. Okay, the opening is just this like a combination of just milk, chocolate, dark chocolate, um, syrupy amber, and then you get some really nice boozy vanilla. Wow, right there. Just smelling it and I was like, I don't care if the tobacco even comes out because I really didn't smell the tobacco in the beginning, the dry down. When I was doing the robot, like I talked about later in that scent trail, that's when I smelled the tobacco. So really deep into the dry down, I got some kind of nice pipe tobacco, some tobacco leaf, but it is very light. Um, I would almost say I would miss it if I didn't know about it, but because I love tobacco so much, and I have so many different types of tobacco fragrances, I did actually, I was able to pick up those notes, but it is really deep into the dry down. So, is it sweet? Is it overly sweet? Is it cloy? Is it, this, you know, is it just too much? It is a very sweet fragrance. However, the dry down, it kind of calms down, but it does come off as sweet in the opening. But I don't like, you know, sickening sweet, and I, it didn't, it wasn't off-putting at all. I actually really enjoyed it. Gourmand for sure. If you love chocolate fragrances, you're gonna love this. If you like boozy vanilla, you're going to like this. If you're a tobacco lover, you're gonna have to hang tight, but it is in there for sure. Um, it, it's just, it, I, I picture this kind of like piece of chocolate honeycomb and it's just dripping, you know, just resinous and dripping. That's, I, I, um, I get dark chocolate as like a little snack. That's like kind of my little go-to. And at uh, one of the markets I go to, they have chocolate covered honeycomb. And when I spray this, that's exactly where my mind, I'm like, that's what it reminds me of. If you were just to melt some of that chocolate off the honeycomb, that's how I envision this nice rich chocolate, syrupy, honeycomb, boozy vanilla, and then the dry down, you get some nice tobacco, kind of like pipe tobacco, that's really what I get. Now where would I wear this? Because it is very rich, it's kind of heavy, um, like I said, you wanna go really easy on this. I wouldn't wear this in the summer months. I wouldn't wear it in warmer months. I really don't think it would do well. I think it'd be a little sticky, and I think it would just, it, it, 
I don't think it'd do well. How about that? Let's leave it at that. Winter, fall, popping in cooler weather, absolutely. I think it'd do great. You could probably wear it into early spring. It'd still be really good. Where would you wear this? Highly suggest you wear this on a date. I think it would be very sexy, very alluring. I think it would be very intoxicating for sure. Cocktail hour, stuff like that. I think it's office safe if you go light on it. It's just a really, really sexy fragrance. So when you wanna feel sexy, put some of this on. So again, the price, 50 ml, 175, a 15.5 ml, you're looking at 65, or pick up a decant for about seven bucks. I'll leave a place where you can find all those below over at Lucky Scent. Have you tried anything from La Via del Profumo? Have you tried Amber Chocolate? Leave the comments below and I do my best to answer those comments as soon as I can. I appreciate you watching. Follow me over on Instagram at Monkey's Tropicals Adventures and I'll see you again for another fragrance review. Take care.